able to calculate mode for continuous series. If you observe the given data, it has two columns where first column has a lower and upper limit and frequency. Clearly, this comes under continuous series. Let us discuss the formula first, then let us uh, then we go to the solution. Mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F1, F0 by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. Mode is nothing but uh, this is the formula for mode as I said for median. Here also, let us define all the terms involved in this. So, whenever you are, you are given with a class interval and frequency. So, 0 to 5, this is the data given to you. 5 to 10. So first of all like median you should identify the model class. Our mode is nothing but the one with highest frequency is called the model value here. What is, uh, try to identify the one with maximum frequency which is nothing but 20. Round off the, round off the particular row here. So identify the model class. Model class here is nothing but 20 to 25. Here L is nothing but lower limit of the model class. So what is L here? L lower limit here is 20 means first identify the model class depending upon that you can identify L F1 F0 F, F2 so after identifying L, uh, L F1 is nothing but from this this is the model class no F1 is nothing but frequency of the model class this is the model class so F1 is nothing but 20 what is F0 media uh, frequency above the model class the value above this is nothing but F18 which is nothing but F0. F2 is nothing but frequency below this model class. This is nothing but F2. Uh, here no need to calculate even CF column also. For calculating mode, you, should, you can consider the two given columns as it is. No need to calculate CF or X or mid values or anything. What you need to do? Identify the model class by considering the highest frequency in the column in the F column and round up that value which represents the model class. After identifying the model class, identify L. L is nothing but lower limit of the model class. Lower limit is nothing but here 2025 is the model class so L will be 20. So F1 is nothing but frequency of the model class which is nothing but 20. F0 is nothing but value above this model class which is nothing but 18. F2 is nothing but below the model class F2. So we have identified F1 is equal to 20. So the other term left is nothing but H. What is the width of the class interval? 5. So uh, uh, median mode is equal to L plus which is nothing but 20 plus 20 minus 18 uh, F1 minus F0 by 2 F1 means 2 into 20 minus F1 18 minus F2 12 into H 5. On simplification you will get this value as 21. This is the way you need to calculate the model class. Now we, we have two cases called mode is ill defined and mode is well defined so when do you call uh, mode is ill defined mode is ill defined and mode is well defined let us discuss these two cases when do you say mode as ill defined? Ill defined means mode is not defined. Here mode can be defined. When do you say mode is defined means? So suppose that you are given with a class interval and frequency. Now here job your job is to calculate the median mode here. Suppose I am taking some rough example here. So you have given with this data. Is it continuous one? Yeah, continuous. What is the formula for this? L plus 
L plus F1 minus F0 by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. So you should identify the model class first. How do you identify the model class? 10 is the highest frequency. So we will round up this one. 0 to 2 is model class here. Okay. L is 0. This is nothing but F1. Okay. This is F1. This is F2. Where is F0? You don't have F0 here. So whenever the highest frequency is the first class or the last class, mode cannot be defined because either F0 is absent or F2 is absent. Got it girls? When do you, mode cannot be calculated in all the cases. Mode has some specifications. When you cannot calculate the mode means we call that case, that case as mode is ill-defined. When do you face such a uh, case even if a such situation is nothing but whenever the highest frequency is either starting class or ending class you'll have f1 if this is the starting class is the model class you'll have f1 but no f2 you have f2 but no f0 so one value is absent to you so mode cannot be defined there if the highest frequency is the last class this will be f1 no f2 here f0 is with you means there is no uh, whenever you have highest frequencies corresponding to first or last classes either f0 or f2 are missing in such cases we cannot calculate mode we call that as mo mode is ill or not defined in such case we calculate mode is equal to 2 mean minus 3 median Whenever mode is ill-defined, we calculate mode using mean and median which is called the empirical formula for mean uh, mode which is nothing but 3 uh, Whenever mode is ill-defined, okay, we calculate the uh, mode by the relation called empirical relationship between them which is nothing but it's wrong under 3 median minus 2 mean okay whenever mode is ill-defined we calculate mode by using the empirical formula using median and mode values 3 median minus 2 mean thank you